Hey right, guys, in this video, we're going to take a look at how you can connect uh, to a file server in the files app uh, on the iPhone 16 or the iPhone 16 Pro. Now a file server can be a shared folder on the Windows computer or on your Mac computer. It can also be a files uh, of an actual uh, file server or a NAS drive um, connected to a network. Um, that is attached as a storage drive. Or it could be a remote folder that you can connect via uh, the URL, the URL uh, web address. So the first thing that you need to do is go to your file server and make sure it is shared and it can be uh, properly accessed um, via your local uh, storage. Next, we're going to go to the Windows computer and what we're going to do is we're going to create a new folder but before that we're going to need to create a user account so right click on the windows icon at the bottom and then click on computer management here click on local users and groups then double click on the user folder next right click on this panel here and click on new user give it a new username so I'm just going to use create a username called my admin and then I'll give it a password as admin you can create your own uh, password and then clap, uh, click on create button and that's it then click on close so we have now created a new uh, user account you can also use your local admin account if you wanted to for ease of uh, setting this up, uh, I recommend you create a local account. Some people have trouble using your using the Windows online account. So it's best if you create a local account on your computer. So here we've got I'm my admin uh, user account uh, with a password. Okay, so now we close that. Next, we create a new folder, a new share uh, folder. So here I'll create a new folder called IT. Django's uh, files. Okay, so IT Django files. And then right click on that folder. Next, we go down and click on properties. And here, click on sharing. And then click on advanced sharing down here. Okay, from the pop up. And here, you want to click on share this folder. And then we go down and we click on permissions. Next, I'm just going to remove a one and then click on add. And here we type in the username that the username that we just created, my admin, and then click on check name. So the username is valid. So we click on OK. Next, we want to give it a full control permission so that if you want, you can manage your folder directly on the iPhone. So click on OK. Next, click on OK again. Here you can give your share name, the folder share name. So here I can create here, I can make changes. And then click on OK. And then just click double check here. So here we've got local admin as a username. So I will type in my admin. And then I'll click on allow via write and then click on share. And then click on done. And that's it. So now we have set up this folder. Click on close. So the folder has been successfully uh, created. Now we go back to the iPhone. So we pay the attention back to the iPhone. Okay, on the iPhone, I'm going to go back to my home screen. From the home screen, you can find the files app. If you cannot find it, you can go to your app library and type in files. This is the file manager on iPhone. So tap it to open. Once it is open, tap on the more button here. Make sure you go to the browse screen. So tap on the browse button at the bottom. Then tap on the more button. And from here, choose connect to server. Now in here, you need to enter in the server name. Now you can see at the bottom here, I have a history of the connection. So what I do, I'm just gonna remove my history. And tap on remove. Next, because it asks for the server name, so we need to know your uh, computer uh, host name or your IP address. Okay, so on the computer, 
we can find out our computer name by open up the command prompt. So here I right click and then click on run and then type in CMD to open up the command prompt. In here what you can do is you can type in hostname. Now you can see here the hostname is Windows, I'm sorry Office. Okay so here it shows Office as the hostname. Another way you can do it is you can uh, navigate uh, by using an IP address. So we can type in IP config. Here we've got the IP is 129.168.1.115 down at the bottom here. So this is another way how we can connect to the share folder on the iPhone. Okay, so now that we have the information, we can now put in S M B and then column and then forward slash. Next, we put in the host name. So the host name is Office. That is the name of my computer. So Office, and then tap on connect. So I need one more forward slash there, and then tap on connect. And here we can connect as guest or register user. Uh, when you set as guest, you can collect, you can connect uh, without using the username and password. In our case, we have set a password to the, and we have set the user account so we can uh, use which is the user. So here in the username, type in my admin, or put in your username and put in your account password. So I'll put in my admin, admin is the password, and then tap on next. Now you notice that um, when I try to use my uh, uh, hostname as office, sometimes that can give you an issue when your computer has not been set up correctly or there an issue with the host file name from the DNS name. Uh, in that case, the, can, the iPhone cannot recognize the the host computer, but I'll show you another way how you can get it to work, how you can resolve the problem. Okay, so here you can see it says there was a problem connecting to server. Now this is uh, quite common uh, in many Wi-Fi networks where it uh, have a local name resolution uh, issues. So one way to fix this is by uh, going back here. So tap on connect. And then here we put an S mb column and then forward, forward slash and then we put in office dot local okay so you put in the your computer name so i'll put in the computer name and then after that you add in the dot local so give that a try and then tap on connect now we put in the username my admin and then the password as admin then tap on next. So this time it's connected um, uh, fine, it's finally work. So I'll give that a try. Now because iPhone uses MDNS for slash uh, Bonsure to resolve the dot local names. So and also make sure your Windows PC has a network discovery enable uh, for this uh, option to work. Okay, so once you have connected to uh, your computer. So here we've got IT Jungle's uh, share. So if I tap on that, you can see at the moment the content is unavailable. Uh, available. There's not, nothing in it. Uh, we've got IT, Fungo, IT Jungle's files. This one here, uh, previously I have a share, but that folder has been removed. Certain folders is not accessible because it's no longer available. So here is the IT Jungle's files we created. In here, what you can do is you can um, copy files, you can view files, you can manage files uh, on in this folder. Okay, so if we take a look here, this is the share folder. This is the iPhone. Here, if I drag in the files into this folder, you can see on my phone it will reflect it. Here it shows the files has been uh, transferred over. So I can tap on it to view it. So here, iPhone is now downloading the files to view it. So I can swipe across to view different files. So once it's downloaded, it will be available straight away. It may take some time so you'll find to download the files. Okay, so you can transfer the files over. 
Now at the moment, all this is via network, so we need to, if you want, you can copy it to your local folder on the iPhone. Here, I can move some file back out, and that will be removed from the iPhone, as you can see. And on the iPhone, I can also create a new folder. So if I tap on that and tap a new folder, here I can put in IT Jungle test. And then tap on done. And on the computer, you can see it create a new folder here, IT Jungle test. And here I can also move files into that folder. And here you can see it will show the files in the folder. I can move it back out. Actually, I can do it in here as well. So I can manage files from my iPhone. So I can open up the folder. I can touch and select that file. I can tap on move. And I can choose where I want to move it to. So I can go back in here, tap on my, on my iPhone. So here, tap on the share folder. And then I go to files. And then I will move it back out here. So tap and move to move it out there. And now the folder is empty. And if I want, I can delete the folder. And the folder will also be removed from the iPhone. If I want to copy the files over to my phone so that when I disconnect from the server, I still can access the file. So what you can do here is select the files. So tap on select. And then down here, we're going to, so that's not the one here. But we, this is up copy uh, for items here. So you can use the copy from here. Or you can also share and then copy. So here, if I select that, so tap on that and then select, select, select. And then down here, you can also tap on the share. And then you can also choose copy from there. Okay, so there are different ways of uh, doing the same thing. And then tap on the browse button. And then choose on my iPhone. Here, choose where you want to place them. I can place them in here. And then tap on paste. So tap on paste. And that's it. Now you can see it paste the files over. And this is now available on my phone. So even if I disconnect it from the share folder, I still can access files for, for my iPhone. Now on the iPhone, if you need to transfer files from your iPhone to the computer, you can do so as well. So tap on the browse button here, go to your iPhone, whether it can be on iPhone, on Google Cloud or iCloud Drive, it doesn't matter where it is. You can select and copy the files. So let's say we go to my iPhone, on my iPhone, here I go to IT Jungles, and let's say I want to co copy some files here. So tap on the More button, then tap on Select. Choose the items that you want to transfer over to the computer. Then we're going to tap on Copy. So copy four items. Next, we go Browse, go back here, then we go to the Share folder, so Local to Office, so we tap on that. Here, tap on IT Jungle's files, and then touch and hold on a blank spot, then tap on paste. And that's it. Now we copy, now I said here, there's not enough free space available. So there should be plenty of space on the computer. I suspect there could be an issues um, with the files being not being uh, set up correctly. So I'll double check now, uh, double check now. So what I did, I just, Try to paste it again and see if they have the same error. Okay, so this time it looks like uh, it works fine. It's still showing the icon there, it's still copying files. Maybe because there are some large items. So if you tap on that there, it will give you information. Now we go to the computer. So on the computer here, some files has been copied over. So that's from the iPhone. And downloads folder. And we've got the music file, the PDF files, and the images. So once you have done with, once you are done with transferring the files, we can go back to the share folder 
and exit, tap on the eject button to close the connection. So that's one way how you can connect using the hostname. What about using the IP address? So you can do that as well. So server name as smb forward forward slash, sorry, column, and then forward forward slash. And here we put in the IP address 192.168.1.1. So I think I press in the sum button here. Let me try it again. One six eight. Dot one dot one one five. Then tap on connect. Here we put in the username as again as my admin. And then admin. Turn. So it's not correct. So maybe it's the IP address. I need to double check the IP address again. Okay, so we put in the right address and then click on connect. And then we put in the username, my admin. Then password as admin. And tell me return. Okay, so this time it works fine here. Yeah. So that is another way how you can connect by using the IP address instead of the hostname. So if you have issue using the hostname, you can use uh, IP address instead. And that's it. If you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for my videos. If you have any issues, please leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you for watching.